Even in his 70s, Liang Keliang practices ping pong every day. The former world champion says the sport will always be part of his life. And it all came to a head with a legendary story 50 years ago. Back in 1971, the China and the U.S. national teams had a chance encounter at the World Table Tennis Championship in Japan. When commuting from the hotel to the stadium, an American player hopped on the wrong bus, one that carried the Chinese team. After a period of embarrassing silence, senior team member Zhuang Zedong reached out to the unexpected guest. Liang was sitting right next to the 19-year-old Glenn Cohen, where he saw the icebreaker take place. We were both around a similar age. I was just a year or so older. When we got to the stadium, he was too shy to ask to play with Zhuang, so he turned to me. The friendly exchange made the next day's headlines worldwide, considering this was the height of the Cold War at the time. Chinese leaders seized this opportunity by inviting the American team to China. The next year, the Chinese team paid a return visit to the United States. I'm glad that I had this opportunity to experience the exchange. It opened a gate for diplomacy and friendly relations between us all. Liang says table tennis can quickly shorten the distance between people. That's why he's now committed to training and encouraging people to realize that ping pong is a fun sport. Small table tennis is a tool for Liang Geliang to train the new generation of table tennis players. It helped them with their patience while playing the games. Liang and his American friends still stay connected. He attends events on almost every anniversary, even during the pandemic. Now several decades have passed. We cherish those memories. It's been an unforgettable experience. We enjoyed meeting up, and our ping-pong diplomacy met the aspiration of the people within these two nations. Something as simple as ping pong can make such a big difference. Zhao Yunfei, CGTN, Beijing.